The legendary producer Scott Storch just collaborated with Slate Digital and they created a plugin called the Storch Filter. Now, I'm not much of a beat maker, and this is mostly for beat makers, so I'm really gonna be able to put this to the test to see if it's really as intuitive as they say it is. About a year ago, Slate Digital did the same thing with a plugin called Murder Melodies with the producer Murder Beats, and I was really impressed with that plugin. Like I said, I'm not much of a beat maker, but I've been using that plugin on tons of projects since it came out over a year ago. So now let's check out how this plugin really sounds. So I have a beat that sounds like this. Now I wanted to add some sort of melody to kind of go on top of that. And now here's the thing, to really put this to the test, I wanted to make sure I made the simplest sounding melody possible and then use Storch Filter to really take it to the next level. That was my goal. So I just made a little patch here inside of Serum that sounds something like this. It's just a saw wave, a little bit detuned, and uh, there's three voices in total there. It's very, very basic, and I did that intentionally. I didn't add any filters inside of Serum. I didn't add any effects inside of Serum. I wanted to really make sure that it was a very basic kind of sound. The only thing I did was create just an envelope to make sure that there's kind of that plucky sound that I'm looking for, and the initial sound is something that I'm looking for. Very, very basic, but it does sound good on top of the beat itself. <laughs> Not bad, but we could really take it to the next level by bringing in some effects. So now this is Storch Filter. This is essentially a really simple plugin. You have reverb up here, chorus, saturation, spread, and phase, and then you have your cutoff wheel here. And then there's your different cutoff types down here, and then your slope is here. The thing that's really interesting to me though is there's this auto button here, and you can have a depth, and your rate can be changed as well to how fast this filter automatically goes up and down. So this is fully automatable, but you can really take it to the next level by just having it done automatically. It keeps you really creative and in the creative flow. So let's solo that melody and take a listen to how this plugin sounds. There is an effects boost up here, which you can turn on and then drag the slider up, which just increases the amount of saturation, spread, phase, and everything else that you have on top of here. So far, pretty basic, pretty simple, nothing too crazy. But this is where it gets just that much better. So down here, there's this auto button. I can flick that on and it turns on an LFO, which triggers the filter up here. And you can change the wave shape down here. I kind of like that one. I want to speed it up a little bit, so I'm going to do 2 out of 16. Turn the depth down just a bit. Now we have something that's a lot more usable in the context of the beat here. Now that's sounding great, but I kind of want to automate a few parameters to really take it to the next level. And so that way it doesn't sound so stagnant throughout the entire track. So here I'm automating the cutoff and I'm automating the auto filter switch right here. So that way it gets turned on right when the beat drops. Now let's take a listen to that. Yeah, that really took that melody, 
just to the next level, and especially using automation to bring it in and make it not sound so stagnant is really, really helpful. All in all, I think Storage Filter is an awesome plugin to the massive collection of plugins that's already in the Slate Digital All Access Pass. There's a couple things that I would have liked to see a bit more, like the individual control for saturation and spread and this knob specifically, the effects boost knob. I would like to boost saturation, but not necessarily chorus and reverb. It is like a all-in-one compensating effects boost and that was one thing that I kind of was lacking on it. Besides that, it's a super powerful plugin and I'm super excited to continue to use it. Over the years, I've mixed hundreds of songs and there's five things that seem to be true no matter what genre or instrument that I'm mixing. And if you want to know more of what I'm talking about, you just click on this video right here. In that video, I dive deep into the five things that are just true every time I open up a session and mix for artists all over the world. You're going to love it. Click that video there. I'll see you over there. And now as always, go create.